Hi, and welcome to Teaching Online Open Course. I'm Greg Benfield, one of the three tutors on the course. I've been teaching online since about 1998. This course itself is a, a new open variation of a course we've been running for about 10 years uh, in the Oxford Centre for Staff and Learning Development. At various times it's been called online tutoring and teaching online. Uh, this variation is slightly different because it's open. Anyway, welcome everybody. Welcome to the course. I'm Liz Lovegrove. I'm one of the other tutors. I've been teaching online for three or four years, um, living online for much longer, and I've done a lot of work developing and supporting various different online courses. Welcome to the course from me as well. I'm Marion Waite, and I've been teaching online since about 2008 mainly in the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences at Oxford Brookes University, but more recently with OCSLD and particularly with the Open Online Course Development. Um, in addition to the three tutors, you will also find that the course is supported by teaching assistants and you will be able to identify them because um, when they come online, they hopefully, in brackets behind, behind their name, they will have TA. They are all experienced online practitioners and their main role is to help you find your way around the course and they'll be able to offer additional perspectives um, by ex because of their experience and about various aspects of teaching online. In fact, throughout the course, our approach is learning by doing and through dialogue with others. We will also ask you to reflect on how we do things, on your own experience on the experience of others in the course so that you can make informed choices about the approach that it's most likely to work best for you. Some people will be taking the course for credit as module P70408. They will have an assignment and course tutors will be available to support you in writing that assignment, including by giving feedback on an early draft. Don't forget that we have a two week break over the Easter University Easter calendar during this period, there will be no tutor support available. You're free to read, prepare your assignments and post in forums if you want over that period. But there will be no tutors available to answer your questions if you have any. One of the things about this being an open course is that you have some choices about how to engage with it. We're offering various different activities and discussions and meetings each week. Um, and depending on what your preferences are, what your interests are, you may wish to engage in some or all of those things or to dip in and out as your interest suits you. Um, if you're taking the course for assessment you might find that to prepare for your assignment you'll need to engage more deeply with all of the different activities. Um, if you're just taking it for interest you might just want to dip into the week that interests you, take away some readings and post a couple of times in the discussion boards or indeed anything between those two extremes. Um, but no matter what you're doing, we urge you to think about contributing to the discussion boards because that's where a lot of the learning will actually be taking place with people sharing their experiences, sharing their thoughts on the different approaches we're discussing each week. You'll find you'll learn a lot from each other as well as hopefully from us. Um, we'll be releasing all of our content one week in advance. If you've taken other open online courses, particularly first steps in learning and teaching, this might be different from what you're used to where some other courses release everything all at once. Um, we're partly doing that to demonstrate a different way of um, approaching the release of materials and as with all of the decisions we've made throughout the course we encourage you to think about the effect of that and um, to think about whether or not it will work in your context. So in closing let me just emphasise that this course is about learning and teaching in general uh, but with a specific focus on techniques for teaching online in particular. So you'll find that some of the resources and readings vary between those that take a, a general perspective about learning and teaching uh, and others ask you to focus very specifically on techniques for teaching online. That's because as we see it, the principles of learning and teaching apply online, but there are some specifics about best practice, about effective techniques and so on that you're going to need to think about um, in order to make your way towards becoming an online, effective online tutor. So, for now, welcome. We would suggest that what you do is take a look around and familiarise yourself with this environment, even if you're quite experienced as an online learner and teacher, 
There are likely to be subtle differences about how this course operates, and you're going to need to figure those out. Some of the first things to do are to visit the Arrivals Lounge uh, discussion forum and let us know that you've landed safely. Then we recommend that you just plunge right into the week one activity called Icebreakers. One last thing, I suggest you get out your diary and start planning now for how you're going to engage with this course. Especially mark in the, date, uh, the dates and times of the three live webinars. Uh, you'll find them in the uh, introductory materials. You don't want to miss those. And block out some time for the week three small group activity where you'll probably need to be able to uh, engage um, online more frequently than in other weeks. And above all, uh, try to meet some people and have some fun with this course. Bye for now. We'll see you online. Bye. Bye.